that if this individual is aware of what has happened, they are afraid, in pain, and waiting for a doc knock on the door. The parents of a young man killed by a hit and run driver ask for help in solving the case. Good evening, everyone. It's been almost three weeks since a car hit Christopher Shaw, throwing him over an embankment. He wasn't found for hours. Also not found yet, whoever was driving that car. Local 12's Jeff Hurst joins us with an investigation that needs some help. Well, Curtis, police are hoping there may be witnesses, although the accident happened in the middle of the night, or maybe somebody heard somebody talking about it, or maybe, just maybe, the driver will turn him or herself in. We just want to reach out to the public right now. Uh, we have very few leads. 26-year-old Christopher Shaw was hit and killed by a car sometime after 3 a.m. July 18th. He was walking on Rapid Run Road after leaving a bar. His body was not found till the afternoon. The area he's, where he was struck, it's dark, it's not well lit. Us as investigators acknowledge that the person that hit Chris may not know they hit Chris. They know they struck something. We will even acknowledge that potentially they could have gone up the street, turned around, and came back to see what they hit, and they wouldn't have seen Chris. Chris was thrown over an embankment and wasn't visible from the roadway. Chris's parents, Gail and Tim Courtney, joined the plea. He was kind, he was gentle hearted, and was a good friend to many. We truly believe that, this, that Chris's death was a tragic accident that was unintentional. We believe that someone has to know something regarding the events that led to the death of our son. Anything that the public can do to help us out with this case, uh, we're urging you to come forward. Um, I'm sure it's not easy for the driver sitting at home living with this also to come out bring closure not only to the family but to themselves this tragic accident. As you just heard while police believe this was an accident Curtis there's always the possibility of some sort of charges once the police know exactly what happened so maybe maybe that's why the driver if indeed he or she is even in this area right now has not come forward. And probably to the driver's advantage to come forward right away. Well, I think so. The sooner you come forward, the more it is that you look like uh, you're cooperating. All right, Jeff, thank you. If you have a tip about this case, you can submit it anonymously through the Delhi Township website, police Facebook page, or app, or call Crime Stoppers, the number on the screen, 352-3040.